ladies and gentlemen, Rex Havens! Thank you. Thank you. What have I learned in my silly trips around the sun about men and women? Well, there are a number of studies out there which say that we are motivated by different things. They say, for, uh, uh, they say on average, that men are motivated by practicality and efficiency, and we certainly hear that criticism all the time, that the only thing that matters to you is something that's practical and efficient. Well, in a lot of homes, it's our job to get things done. So yeah, I think we do gravitate toward pra practical things that help us get the job done, and then we're really concerned about that and give us more free time, that's a good thing. But they also say for women that they appreciate practicality, but slightly higher for many women are things of beauty, things that lift the spirit, things that feed the soul. That is the only distinction I've ever been able to come up with to explain why possibly today there are still candle stores. <laughs> There's not a man here who understands why there are still candle stores. Why can you still buy a single candle? They have been surpassed. There are better inventions out there to do those things. Modern light bulb has the light of a thousand candles. A modern furnace has the heat of a million candles. To a man's mind, with efficiency like that available, why would you ever want one at a time? <laughs> but women have patiently explained to me many times that they value the beauty, the aroma, the atmosphere, the aura, some say even the soul of a single burning candle. <laughs> and that's why candle stores still exist and that is my wife's place at the mall. My place is the bench outside the mall where I sit with all the other men. Sitting there like a dog that's been left at the kennel looking at the horizon, waiting for my owner to come back. She said to sit right here. She told me sit right here. And she said she would be back. And and she'll be back pretty soon, and we'll get ice cream. We will. We'll get ice cream. And she'll be back. I know she will. Yeah. So I think maybe there's something to that. I think maybe there's a little something to the notion that men are driven by efficiency and women are driven by beauty. And you don't have to look any further to see these two competing ideas living side by side than your standard everyday bath towel. This is a bath towel, and it's also men and women living together because this has a male part and it has a female part. The male part, obviously, is a terry cloth part, because that is efficient. It is thirsty, it's absorbent, it sucks up the water, and you can dry yourself with that part of the towel. And that, ladies, drying ourselves, is what that foolish man in your life thought we bought the towel to do. But for some reason, there's this part, the silly part, silly part. You gotta admit, ladies, even no matter how pretty this is, this is useless to the purpose of a towel. Because this little decorative strip is hard, it is flat, it is matted. But most of all, and worst of all, it repels water! This is part of a towel. This is 20% of a towel and it repels water. <laughs> you lie this towel down flat on a table, and pour water on it, it will beat up on this part of the towel. <laughs> if the whole towel was made out of this, it wouldn't be a towel, it would be a placemat. <laughs> you like to dry yourself with a stiff placemat? <laughs> and far from being innocent, this part can hurt. You can skin yourself on this part of the towel. <laughs> So gentlemen, next time you're drying off with the family linens in this nasty, awful, raspy piece of sandpaper snags you in a sensitive area, try to think of it as a friendly little hello from your wife. <laughs> Offered in the name of art and for the sake of beauty. <laughs> gentlemen, we could, if we wanted to, we could try to mount a campaign and get rid of the decorative towel strip. We could use logic and reason on the women in our lives and try to rid the world of this awful little demon. I fought hard with the women in my life when I was very unbelievably totally young. I was naive, I was idealistic, but mostly I was fatally young. I was a young man once, it didn't work out. But I fought hard with the women in my life. I fought hard with my own wife, at least I thought I did. But in the end, I had to admit that I seldom won her over to my way of thinking. She is a formidable opponent, as are most in her sisterhood. <laughs> so I would say to you gentlemen only, the women are the reason for many, many fine things in the world and I would ask you to find it in your heart to appreciate and even love what women bring to the table. 
For women are the reason for pumps and clogs and flats and slings and periwinkle and seafoam and size zero and candle stores and decorative linens. And women are the reason for a million and one other greater and even lesser things, but all of which we must admit add texture, interest, beauty, mystery, and yes, even magic to the fabric of life. So gentlemen, when you're tempted to take these women on and challenge the feminine influences in the world, by all means do what's in your heart, but my advice, use your head, save a lot of time. <laughs> Add literally years to your life and about nine out of 10 times, be a very wise man, <laughs> throw in the towel. <laughs> but I know you won't. I know you won't and I know men won't and that's not in the nature of any of us to give up as long as we fight this fight with humor and a, spar and a sparkle in our eye and we do it in, in, in good sportsmanship and with good feelings toward each other, always with respect, then keep up the good fight. I will tell you this, Tyler, it's all about communication. With my wife and I, sometimes I can go by what she says, other times I need to read between the lines. Recently I was in the kitchen and Sarah came up behind me and she grabbed me by the seat of the pants. And I thought, that's gotta be a good thing. <laughs> Turned out she was just drying her hands. <laughs> Folks, when's the best time to laugh? Anytime you can. God bless, thank you very much. I had a ball being here. You guys were sent straight from heaven. Thank you so much.